So we're going to look at truth tables now. This is a complicated expression because it involves an or and also an and and some parentheses. So what I'm going to do is work from inside the parentheses to out. So I really want to examine this B and C. So what I'm going to do is create a separate column for B and C. If it's hard for you to remember what these symbols mean, I think of the word A-N-D, and that N, to me, looks kind of like this symbol here. The other symbol's an OR. I write my R's like that, which is not very far away from the OR, or the B symbol. So that's how I memorized them. All right, now how to use them, A-N-D, and, that is <clears throat> when B and C are true. So I'm going to take this marker. I want to look at the B and C columns and only choose when they're both true. Turns out in this chart, you look down here, they're only true, both true once. So we put a T here. It's false otherwise. So every other entry in here is false. Now, I've accomplished the B and C, what I'm going to do is now look for A or B and C. So I have my B and C column. The other column I need is my A column. So I'm going to look for A or B and C. So I'm going to compare these two columns and I want to look or, meaning if there's one T, in the first or last column, I'm gonna enter a T right here. So first up, I see A is true. Doesn't matter if it's false or true, because when I'm working with an OR, one true makes it true. Next, second row, I got a true, and I'm done there. Third, A is true, so A or anything is true. Next, A is true. All right, now the rest of them, a is false on all these, so A is not going to help this become true. So what we're actually going to do is look over here now. So I have false or true is true, false or false. Here's where we start getting falses, false or false, false. And lastly, false or false is false. So this should be my final answer for the complicated A or B and C.